Hey everybody, Ham and Fred, America's Chicken. Um, doing a little bit of testing with these. Want to talk about some new knives that I picked up while I was on the road. Ordered them in. I know a lot of you are familiar with them. I had heard a lot of good things about them, and as I am the fixed blade fanatic, I thought I'd check them out. These are blades from El Salvador by a company called Condor. Now, I know you've heard of them before. I've uh, picked up four of them so far, and I've got to tell you, I've actually been hammering these things on the road, getting a lot of weird looks at hotels when I'm out back in the parking lot chopping through wood. <laughs> kind of makes the security guy drive by more than once. But anyway, um, for the straight knives here, they make fantastic machetes. If you're looking to mark out for, market for a machete, I'll tell you something. I've got a couple. I'm going to be showing those. Uh, I was talking to Gavco recently. He likes their machetes too. Um, these are not simple knives. These are 1075 steel. They're high carbon steel, so you are going to have to maintain these. These need to be oiled, they need to be cleaned, and as some of them are covered, they need to be stripped and a patina put on. I did that with my uh, uh, rodent. But uh, their knives are full tang, they're extraordinarily well made. Look at the edge. I don't know if this is, I can't see the viewfinder because it's high up. But this almost looks convex. It is such a high Scandi grind. Uh, Condor is the evolution of the WH Gebe uh, steel company in Germany. They were famous for making swords and military blades from the 1700s. They moved everything to El Salvador and brought the precision German equipment with them and have been very, very famous uh, as far as making knife and tools for farming and a few years back decided to start to get into the bushcraft and outdoors knives and these are simply amazing blades this is the bush lore 4.3 inch full tang very very well balanced it's a solid oak handle uh, a little less than uh, or a little more than an eighth in thickness just an absolutely solid blade and these edges hold tremendously very easy to bring back like I said you sharpen it once you hone it forever uh, anyway the bush lore uh, they come with some amazing leather as a matter of fact I am going to send one or two of these to Gav for uh, Kydex but the leather sheaths are extraordinarily well done the Condor logo there on the top this is the Nesmuk um, I like this a lot. Uh, this is a variation on what they would call a camp knife. Uh, it's a tremendous chopper. There's some really good videos on YouTube on all these blades, by the way. Uh, but again, the handle is extraordinarily comfortable. It is very well balanced. It's a very thick spine. And again, the edges are done to perfection. They hold like crazy. And this is a very good utility, outdoors, hiking, survival type knife if you're looking for a smaller knife to carry uh, the Nesmuk works really well then here's the one that I originally started EDCing uh, because I like the similarities to the BK2 this is the uh, Rodan and you can see it's got a very marked similarity to the BK2 in style and shape now I put a patina on this. It did come with the black coating, but we all know what happens to these high carbon blades with the black coating. Even though they, the manufacturer puts it on to help guard against moisture and rust, it tends to actually attract it more. So uh, I went ahead and did the patina on this, but this has a one piece, it's a full tang, okay, and there's no mistaking that it is a full tang, but it's a one piece polypropylene handle. It's designed for bigger hands like mine. I have chopped a lot with this knife. The edge comes back absolutely perfectly. No chips, nothing. Um, and this polypropylene handle translates very little shock back to the hand. I did use gloves for most of it, but I tried some without the glove and the hand was fine, even cutting through for a long period of time. I really like that running. And the thing is, all these knives, okay, are running about 30 bucks. Really. 
it's it's an amazing value and again as I said even if you leave it in the leather it looks really good it carries well on the belt and uh, I just I, I'm really excited about them this last one is uh, one I saw on eBay and I got it from that and they've changed the finish this is the Hudson Bay knife and I've added the uh, rubber inner tube on it like I do with mine uh, but again it comes with the oak handle this is an extraordinarily solid knife this is a tremendous chopper it's a tremendous all-around outdoors knife um, originally they are shown in the catalog as a smooth finish they have since gone to this rough hammered finish this is actually hammered metal uh, and I may or may not do the patina on it we're gonna see how it handles moisture but again I cut through uh, a piece of mulberry a piece of pine uh, and some other uh, deciduous trees and all I had to do was wipe it clear it stayed sharp and we're talking like three to four inch branches um, and there's hardly a nick on it the edge is amazingly smooth and again like I said if you look at this out of the factory it almost looks like a convex edge it is extraordinary it's a heavy knife okay but it's very very well balanced and for a chopping motion um, I absolutely love it El Salvador very clearly but uh, that's it the Condor blind there's uh, the Hudson Bay Fred we're gonna put that close to you the, uh, the Rodan the Nesmuk and like I said the bush lore they have other ones available they have a great website uh, I'm you know getting nothing from it. I'm just passing on something that I think is a great value and a great all-around general purpose type knife condor line check it out we'll catch you later